All right, so what's going on, guys? Real quick, I thought I would just give you a quick update on setting up a website. So one of the things I know Nicole was working on was creating the mood board um, for the website as well as a layout. And um, she was waiting on me to finish setting up the account for our web host so that way she can start you know, laying the groundwork for getting the site up and running. So uh, part of that process, um, we'll be connecting our d domain that we bought from Google Domains um, up to our web host. So I thought I would just give you a quick update. I thought I would just give you a quick like tutorial video on how to do that. So the rest, the host that we're going to be using is called super.so. It's actually pretty dope. Um, it's created, uh, by a really cool designer that I follow, uh, just to kind of give you a quick look at what it does, but essentially allows you to build a website using Notion. So if you guys don't already know, we use Notion for our project management. Um, we both really like Notion. We use it for our personal lives, decided why not use it for our business. And in this case, um, this startup was uh, founded to basically make it easy to create static websites using your Notion as a database and kind of like the host. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, this whole site, even their landing page was all built off of a Notion page. And uh, it basically allows you to, you know, connect different themes or to use custom CSS to essentially redesign the way the typical Notion web view looks. So if you don't have Notion, you can basically share any document on Notion to the web via a link and it'll basically post it up on the website and make it like a web, a static web page for, you know, sharing purposes and things of that nature. So all this does is allows you to like kind of customize it a little bit further and make it easy to kind of host a uh, SEO optimized website from it. So it's pretty dope. We thought one of the things we're trying to do, obviously, when it comes to laying the groundwork for this business is doing things quickly. We're developers, but we're not going to take the time to build a, you know, obviously like a website from scratch because it would take too much time. Oftentimes you'll find when you're starting a business or running a startup, it's a lot easier to get the ball rolling the fastest way possible and to continue to iterate as you, you know, grow and, you know, expand from there. So this is one of the things that we're going to be using in our tech stack and I am in the process of setting it up. All right. So you created a brand new account on super.so, assuming that you want to use super for your basic website, right? So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit new site. And I say, okay, what do you want your site name to be? So I'm going to call it Umber Society. And then it's going to ask you for a Notion page. So in our um, our workspace, we have a separate workspace called website. So I just created a little sub page called Umber Society to kind of just be the, you know, basic groundwork for like what page we're going to use and what sub pages are going to live there for the website. I would use the top page, but I don't know if she was planning on using this for like tracking the notes or linking the mood boards and stuff. So I'm going to use the sub page for now. So basically what we're going to do while you're in Notion is you're going to click the little three dots up here. You're going to go to, uh, where is it? Oh, sorry. We're going to hit share. And normally your web's it's going to look like this where sharing the web is disabled. You're going to click share to web and then take that link, right? Now from here, you're going to paste that link in the Notion page URL. I'm going to hit continue. All right, and there we go. So now, technically, this site is up and live. It's hosted at umber-society.super.site. Whenever you create a site on Super, they give you this custom domain .super .site. Um, You can change that. In this case, we're going to want to change that to use the domain that we got with our Google Workspace. So I'm going to go to domains. I'm going to, right now, obviously, this is the default domain. I'm going to add a custom one. And the domain that we have is umbersociety.com. I'm going to hit continue. And it's going to give you some uh, instructions. So what you have to do, regardless of who is hosting your domain or where you bought the domain from, you're going to want to change the DNS settings of that host to point to these two types. And basically what this does is allows the DNS servers all over the place to say, hey, uh, we're going to point this domain to these different addresses, um, this ad IP address for the host server, and then this name for the name server. And what that does is it basically allows um, you to hit that and that domain, so umbersociety.com in this case, and it will shoot you over to super SO servers. So that way super can then serve the uh, client, the web page that you that you've created. So basically, this is kind of how on a basic level, uh, you assign a a custom domain that's being hosted by whoever, so let's say Namecheap or in this case Google, and how you can connect that to a website that's being hosted by a completely different service, right? So it gives you a couple instructions. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set that up. 
So uh, I'm going to go over here. So as you can see, this is my uh, or our workspace in Google in Google Domains. So part of the uh, business plan that we got included a domain, and uh, we're basically in the Google Domain panel to allow to allow me to like kind of do some edits to it. So to show you, I'm gonna leave this page what it's like. So so when you first go to Google Domains, this is what it's gonna look like. If you have more than one domain, they'll all pop up here. In this case, um, we only have one, and that's umbersociety.com. As you can see, it's hosted under our email. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click Manage. And on this little toolbar on the left here, we're gonna go to DNS because we wanna change some of the DNS settings. And we're gonna just follow the instructions that are listed here. So in this case, we wanna add the following records to the domain's DNS settings. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this IP address because I know I'm gonna need it. We're gonna add this record. So the name is at, the type is A, time to live, how long before those changes get uh, triggered. I'm gonna say 10 minutes because I'm not really worried about it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paste that IP address. Now, another thing I wanna do is I wanna add a second record because there's a second record that's needed here. So the name of the host is www, as you can see here. The type is a C name, and I'm gonna set the time to live to be the same. Now for the domain, it's cname.super.so. That's the uh, domain to their servers. So now that that's set, I'm gonna hit save. Leave the space empty if you mean, um, let me double check, hold on. Type name host, host name. All right, that should be it. Let's check in the DNS. I'm gonna wait for it. So normally um, it does take sometimes anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes or more for the DNS settings to update. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for that to finish. And then uh, I'll give you guys an update after that. Okay, so real quick, I just wanna double check and show you guys that um, that was the correct way. So it's odd because I did it once with GoDaddy.com for my personal site, uh, Joxel Studios. And um, I was able to set that host name as the, the at symbol. But I guess for here, um, that at symbol is just a placeholder. Um, so I was supposed to leave it blank. So I did. It set up the, uh, the DNS settings. And then as you can see here on super, it says the domain is live. And then umbersociety.com. So now if I click that, boom, there it is. Now we have a website hosted via Notion on super.so with our custom domain. So that's pretty sick. Obviously, it's nothing special yet. We're going to you know clean it up, do some custom styling and stuff later. Um, but the setup process is complete and is ready for me to pass on the rest to Nicole. So this is a quick tutorial on how to set up super.so with a custom website, uh, domain, and a Notion page.